everyone. My name is Olivia Chow from Class 2D. Today, I'm going to share with you an interesting place called a cataway. The topics I'm going to share with you are geography, climate and weather, the Indo people, daily life, festival and celebrations, and my favorite, interesting facts about a cattle in those cup. The first topic I'm going to share with you is geography. A cattle is located in North America and it is the northmost city in Canada. This is North America. Can you guess where is a cattle with? A cattle is in here. It is inside none of it. None of it looks like a gorilla holding a banana and running away. I'm gonna get its banana. I'm gonna get a calloway to Do you know how to go to a calloway? You can travel to a calloway by plane. And sometimes you need to make a few stops along the way. Because look. This is Hong Kong and this is a cattle. You need to travel a long way. And sometimes the plane have little fuel and they don't have enough fuel to reach a cattle in all one go. And sometimes it takes more than 40 hours. Before when I ride on the plane, I only I only ride on it less than six hours, I think. And this is the Calloway Airport. Look at their language. It's like an alien language, sort of. A Look how they say a Calloway Airport. A Calloway Triangle C B with Triangle C. What's that? And the land forms in the Calloway is flat, barren, and with rocky hills. It got rivers and islands and bays. A Calloway is at the mouth of Selva Grinnell River. River runs into a big bay called Kojis. In winter, the bay and river are frozen solid. The second topic I want to share with you is climate and weather. In winter, it is long, cold, and lasts from October to May. It is snowy and windy and the temperature is minus 30. I already think it's minus 1000 degrees when, when it's 10 degrees in Hong Kong. How can I ever survive? In spring, it is cool and short. And in summer, if temperature rises and snow melts in summer, always it's always foggy and it's sometimes even snow in summer. Oh my god. Annual weather averages in the Calloway. Do you know what is the coldest month in the Calloway? The coldest month in the Calloway is February. And do you know what's the hottest month in the Calloway? The hottest month in the Calloway is July. February, it is minus 23 to minus 32. And in July, it is 12 to 4. In 12, in, in Hong Kong, 12 degrees is already cold. But in there, it's hot. The first topic I want to share with you is the Inu people. The Inu are the Aboriginal people of Canada's far north. They were the first people to live there long ago. Their mode of transport is snowmobile. They call it snowmobile because it can't be used in summer and it can only be used when it's snowy. Look, it's snowy. And, and the clothing is parka and boots. And the parka are made of seal skin. Poor seals and they sometimes eat seal eyeballs. Maybe they're zombies and eating eyeballs just like grapes. Okay. Daily life. 
They hunt sea mammals and fish such as salmon, walrus, seal, and whale for food. Poor seals again. And they live in huts. And as you see, the house is they raise it a bit taller so that if if there's many snow and the house can still can still be not covered by snow. I heard that some houses they're covered by snow and you can't get out and when you open the door, snow will rush in and it'll be a snow house. And they eat fish and because if they will they when they get food they will poke a hole and then when they see something swimming under it, and then they'll and then they will jab it and maybe they'll get a seal. Poor seals again. The inward art and language. This is a stop sign. Do you understand their language? It seems like one C B B N. What do you think? And this is and annual art has a long history. Look at their art. A catfish, maybe it could really exist if a mother is the cat and the dad is a fish. But fish like water and cats hate water. I don't think they fit in after all. And look at this owl, it got long tail and long hair. And look at this person she is busy drawing maybe it sometimes take them one week to finish only one drawing the inward activities throat singing and throat dancing do you know what is the throat singing throat singing is like this they will hold each other's hands and huff and puff like this Oh my god, drum dancing. They're like this. They'll, they'll beat on the drum and dance like this. Festival and celebrations. The Tonga Time Festival in Ikaloa is an annual celebration of annual traditions and return to spring. Tonga Time Spring Festival. Snowmobile race building include activities. Look at the snowmobile race. It got many snowmobiles. Look, they're building igloos. <laughs> Actually, do you know why they have holes in them? Actually, it's for us to breathe fresh air inside. And if there's holes, it could, it could, it could not fall because the dome shape is really strong. Even if we cut a circle in here for the window, it will not fall. Amazing, isn't it? Interesting facts about a calloway. In those cook. Do you know what are these stone statues? They are the in those cooks. They are like a person like this. Maybe maybe we can use them for the PE shape sometimes. What the endos ducks are used for in Indo life, do you know? In your tradition, forbidden to destroy any endoscope. Mm. But I think you can destroy one you made yourself. But I don't think you can destroy the ones that like these. The big ones that the people make. In snowy weather, gigantic endoscope is for fine for wayfinding and navigation in frozen north. Pointing the way for hunter. Signposts to make a good hunting or fishing spot. These innoscuck, it may have been there for hundreds of years. Imagine it, even your grandparents aren't born yet. Do you know what is this? This is the logo that they used in the 2010 Olympic Games. It is an Innoscuck too, and their flag is an Innoscuck too. Amazing, right? Innoscuck really do a big part in telling stories about Ikalawit. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you.